reindeer. From reflective safety antlers to actual red-nosed reindeer, here are the most bizarre things and surprises about reindeer you want to know. If you like the video, click the subscribe button and in the comments, tell us what animal symbolizes winter to you. If you find Ned, let us know in the comments below. Santa's reindeer gender exposed. Blitzer, Comet, Cupid. What are Santa's reindeer's names? They all sound like boy names, right? But what if they're not all boys? The poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas, was the culprit for the confusion. Adult male reindeer shed the antlers a little before Christmas. So who did the work? The answer is females. Female reindeer keep their antlers during the winter so they can feed their babies also while they're pregnant, to later shed them in the spring. Which is why the only ones who could have antlers for Santa's journey will be the females or castrated males. I'll leave you with that dilemma. Non-freezing powers if you're going to walk on a snowy day, what do you need? Besides boots and gloves, a jacket. And what do animals who live in the Arctic regions do? Besides changing the color of their fur to camouflage, the hair becomes thicker to help with temperature. But reindeer have a trick up their sleeves or their fur. In order to heat up, they actually eat moss. Apparently, it helps them stay warm, like the antifreeze for your car. The Finnish win the pizza. Pizza, Italy, they go hand in hand. But what made the Finnish want to win a pizza contest so bad? In 2005, after the Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi made fun of the Finnish cuisine, saying that all they ate was marinated reindeer, in 2008, there was a payback. The Finnish won an international pizza contest. And the best part is they won over Italy. What was the pizza made of? A smoked reindeer, and it was called Pizza Berlusconi. UV ray vision. Have you gone outside on a snowy day and had a really hard time seeing due to the low light conditions or how bright it was from the sun reflecting on the snow? If you're a reindeer, you wouldn't have a problem at all. Arctic reindeer can see through all that and more. Their eye color changes with the season, from gold to blue to adapt to the environment. And with all that snow, how do they find food in the winter? They can see UV light, which helps them see predators, who appear black against the snow, as well as find lichens and moss, major food sources in the winter. Predators cannot hide from the only mammals who can see UV rays. The Santa Slate and Other Theories When thinking of Santa Claus, what comes to mind? Typically, besides the presents he brings, you think of the reindeer pulling his sled. Reindeer also have other names. In North America, they're called caribou. And who came up with the idea that Santa had reindeer? In the Arctic regions, since they were among the first animals to be domesticated and are so strong as to pull their own weight, they are perfect animals to carry all the presents for Santa. Antler Decorations If you live in the northern states, you will see or hear of deer causing most of the vehicle accidents, especially during winter, where food is scarce and they venture out of the woods encountering traffic. So, what can be done to protect reindeer and motorists? In Finland, reindeer herders got a clever solution. Reflective paint. At night, reflective paints make it easier to spot a reindeer wanted to cross the street, therefore reduce accidents. So next time you go to Finland, see if you can spot a reflective deer walking by. According to historians, people in the Arctic and Siberian regions, as well as reindeer alike, love to eat hallucinogenic mushrooms called Amanita muscaria. So they all can fly. The mushroom was given as a winter solstice gift and was coveted by all. But how about Santa entering via the chimney? There is an explanation too. The winter was so strong that the snow will block doors and windows, so often people had to enter through an opening in the roof. Mystery solved. Flying reindeer and chimney entering verified. Race winners. 
things may get a little dicey when driving in the snow. And if you're in the Arctic, you may benefit from the skilled reindeer to take you around. And how fast can they go? Pretty fast for snow conditions, with a top speed of about 50 miles an hour. So, as you can imagine, reindeer racing is an Arctic tradition. And unlike the horses and camel riders who use a saddle, the riders are actually dragged on by a pair of skis. With just a helmet, no padding, and holding on to dear life with some really bright and creative Lycra suits. Horses and camel racing is popular in many parts of the world, so why wouldn't reindeer racing be? They can fly through the snow and run like the wind. Unique measure of distance. Haven't you gone on a long road trip and had to make few stops, either to eat or to fill up the car with gas? Since no gas is needed to ride a reindeer sleigh, when will you stop? Apparently, every few miles. The Sami people of northern Finland have a very unique measurement of distance. Since reindeer have to make a stop to be able to urinate, the distance between stops is called Poron Kuzima, which is about every five miles. Do you ever listen to Christmas carols? Even when walking at the mall, we hear the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer song playing somewhere as you shop around. And why does he have a red nose? The invention of the character in 1939 was a marketing campaign for a department store in Chicago. But what inspired the author? Studies now reveal that actually there are reindeer with red noses. Some reindeer have more densely packed blood vessels near the surface of the skin of their noses than others. The vessels serve to regulate body temperature in the freezing Arctic environment, and that's why it's red. Another study suggested that Rudolph actually had parasites on his mucal passages. The necessary licking. While in the kitchen, as you are making your favorite dish, you mix the different ingredients and serve your meal. And what's your favorite dish on a cold, snowy day? If you were a reindeer, you will hunt for moss, like we mentioned earlier in the video to stay warm. But since salt is rare in the harsh Arctic weather, nothing must be wasted, and that includes urine. The salt content in urine is a necessity, and if you need to gather your herd of free-roaming reindeer, you just have to urinate and they will come. Remember the mushrooms we talked about earlier too? The hallucinogenic properties of the mushrooms can be found in the urine, and so the reindeer will fight for the magical yellow snow. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos. Rudolph and the Flying Reindeer Discovered! And thank you again for watching!